Hello everyone and in this video I am going to unbox this 164th scale Nissan Skyline GTR R32 from Eno64. The paper sleeve also has the silhouette of the car on its back. There's a card with the GTR logo as a background for the car. It also includes a few water slide decals which can be applied to the car. And this is the set of Nismo LMG4 wheels which can be used to replace the original one with. This car looks really beautiful in the Bayside blue color. There is also the name of the car and the GTR logo printed on the base. The front is really well detailed and the headlights are very clear. There is also a Nismo intercooler behind the license plate which I will show you when I remove the car from its base. The paint finish is really amazing. Those are the original wheels and this is the side profile. Moving on to the back, the Nissan logo and the GTR logo are photo etched and are not decals. Eno64 has done a wonderful job on the details of the car. There is the rear wing with the lip spoiler under it. And this is the right side of the car. Moving on to the interior, the dashboard is really well detailed and you can see the instrument cluster from here. It also has racing seats with a 5 point harness and white seat belts. And this is the passenger side. There is also the defrost airlines on the rear windshield. The rear view mirrors have chrome inserts in them and they reflect really well. That's the car out of its base. So with the car out of the base, I can finally show you the Nismo intercooler. The base is really well detailed and is the same one that they use for the race car so it has holes for the side exit exhaust. And that's the exhaust tip. Both the front and rear wheels roll really well but I'll show you the car with the LMGT4 wheels. So that's the car after the wheel swap and I've also changed the license plate to the Nismo one. In my opinion, these LMGT4 wheels look better than the original one. I have kept the rear license plate as it is. This is how the car looks from the right side. I haven't added the decals for the carbon fiber bonnet and the windshield banner. The wheels do not roll freely as the original one because the wheels have come closer than it was before. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and see you later.